as Technoblade himself puts it. Alchemy is the rich man's skill. You need money to level it up. But, you know, it actually doesn't cost much. And no, I'm not talking about that stupid melon, enchanted melon strat that takes about 50 billion years and uh, costs you about nothing. But we're actually going to go for the more, you know, price oriented, but nevertheless, it's time. Because let's be real, guys. If you really had to earn money, there are billions of other ways to make money. And it's probably better than spending 200 hours grinding up alchemy. Well, anyways, here's the guide. I hope you enjoy, and uh, if this does help you, please subscribe. I try to make good content, but it doesn't really work, like, half the time. Shut up, okay? I, I make my attempts. Well, without further ado, let's just go ahead and jump right into it. Yeah, sure, let's go with that. First of all, the most beautiful thing that you must first know is the Alchemy XP Boost Pot. Alchemy XP Boost 3 pretty much gives you 20% more Alchemy XP, which means if you're brewing potions while having this on 24-7, you'll be earning 20% more, which means it'll pretty much cost you about 20% less. 25%, right, if you do it backwards. I think so. I'm, I'm, I'm bad at math. Okay, let me be. I, I'm still not done with high school math, so... Uh, technically, I'm, I'm failing high school math. No, I'm not really, but... You know, you get the point. I'm, I'm not I'm not perfect at math. I'm not good at AP stats. Anyways, all you need is this thing. And it saves you money. Like a lot. And then, then you'll be able to make one hour potions. One hour potions. And then you can earn money with it. Alright, step two. You need a sheep pet or another alchemy pet. Like a parrot. I got both the parrot and the sheep pet to max level. And another sheep pet to max level, I think. Or like level 9 or something. With the XP it took me to get the Alchemy 50. If you don't, you know, don't want to buy your own stuff, you can always just go ahead and like tell other people that you'll give them collateral, and then you level up their sheep pet or whatever Alchemy pet they use with um, the mats you're gonna use, and then uh, they pay you like a million coins based on every stack of stuff you use. So, uh, booyah, you're doing sheep's for people, or you're doing whatever Alchemy pet you're doing for people. And then they pay you money, so you get slight reimbursement from that. Now if you do the math, you figure out that alchemy can be pretty much given to you with only 15 million coins. That's it, 15 million, or maybe even less if you have Terra 8 since you get extra al alchemy XP. And no, it's not some stupid strat, and it's very efficient, I think most people will probably know this, but uh, it's more refined I guess, and uh, it's really straightforward. And it's idiot proof in case people are bad at following guides printed all over the forums. Step 3. Bad. Also bad. OP strat. I'm not even joking. You just buy one of these. If you buy put buy orders or if you put sell orders. Or you, know, you buy instantly or sell instantly. Whatever you want to do. Or if you just want to go ahead and put buy orders. I... It's, it doesn't matter too much. And uh, you just go ahead and if you have the recipe, if you just go ahead in the spider eye collection, you can get a chance fermented spider eye recipes, about 10k. Which is good if you, because you're going to need the collections anyway in the future. And uh, with this, you can not only can you pretty much craft and then sell the bazaar for profit, your other option is to put them into fermented spider eyes and then brew pots with them. Which means instead of paying the 70 almost 80k prices you can just get them for barely 68k or something i'm not that great at math once again about 68k or something you're, you're saving like first of all that's already like 20 percent savings which is very good what 10 percent? i don't know and uh it gives the same amount of enchanted sugarcane same amount of alchemy xp but it costs you less actually because you can sell the fermented spider eyes for like the weakest six pots if you put glowstone for 40k about, you get 12.9k per pot. Anyways, that's pretty good. And then you just go ahead and sell them to this guy here, or like, you know, any merchant. You get money. Anyways, you can just sell this, and then uh, for about every 4, 4.5, 4.8 mil that you spend, you can get about 3 mil-ish back, maybe a little less. About 3 mil-ish back. Which means it only costs you 2 mil for an entire stack. And you only need, with Alchemy XP Boost, you only need, like, 
15 stacks work for I don't even know. I, I I just did it until I hit out from 50. You can it costs you even less if you use um Terra 8. So I mean it's 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 great. And uh here's the other part comes in. You get sheep pets or you level up pets. It costs you two mil, right? Per stack. About which means it only costs you one mil per stack. Since you're getting half of your money back from the pets. And if you if you're gonna get if you have a like level one pet if you're doing mage, which is why I swapped the mage in the first place. You just pretty much do that. You buy parrots for like level one and you level them up. You're gonna use them anyways. So uh, you're actually like factoring in the price of the things into your alchemy in the first place. So you're killing two birds with one stone, which is absolutely amazing. I, I, I love free stuff. Anyways, moving on. Pets. Sell or keep them, whatever you pick. Do it for other people. I don't care. In the end, you'll be earning half your money back from the already discounted 30 mil coins. Which is how I got to Alchemy 50 in about 4 hours of grinding. And it barely cost me anything. Alright, if this helped you, thank you. If it didn't help you, well, now you know. Well, you probably knew already before, but who cares. If this helped you, thanks a lot. I know. Subscribe. Okay, bye.